How often have you been at a conference, seminar or lecture, or perhaps this even happened to you, where there's multiple talks and between each talk they've got to reopen any of the files. They may already be open, they've just got to switch to it and there's a bit of fumbling around. Well, there's an easy way you can incorporate all of those presentations into one or link them across so that as you click on a link on one, it automatically opens the other. And I'm going to show you how you do that here. This is on Windows. I'm going to quickly show you on a Mac as well. But the principle is exactly the same. So here I am. I've got a presentation and I want to incorporate another presentation to it. I am on the first slide. What you want to do is go down to the end here and put in another slide. Now, quite often, so I'm on the last slide here, I actually add in, say, a new blank slide between one with maybe just the logo of the conference or seminar or just a message there. So I might just have a blank one here. And then what I'll do is if I go back to new slide and I'm on the home tab here, I click on that and then I go to reuse slides. And what you'll see here is that you can then browse for a file and I'm going to open this one, DSLR for video. Click on open. And what happens is I have the slides here now. You can see all of the slides. So it's telling me how many slides there are. I just simply click on each one and it loads them in one by one. If you've got a lot of slides, that can be a bit time consuming. But nevertheless, I now have them all in here. And this works great if the formatting is the same for each of the presentations. What can go wrong is if the slides are of different sizes and then the one that you import, you might just have to check that everything's now fitting on the screen first. This is worthwhile trying and I certainly do recommend having a go at this. So what I'm going to do, I can actually close down this reuse slides panel here. I'm just going to get rid of these here. So I'm just gonna select them all. Let's just delete those slides. So I've still got my blank slide here. And this is another way that you can do it. And by the way, both of these work on Windows and Mac. So here I am. What I'm going to do is just insert an image. So let's go into insert. Let's go to pictures. Let's use the jargon free help logo. And what I'm going to do is put a hyperlink on that. Hyperlinks are often used to go to other websites, but they can also point to a file. So I'm just going to right click here and I'm going to choose hyperlink. I'm going to use this button here to browse for a file. I'm going to go to my documents here. And here I've got one DSLR for video, which we just looked at. Click on OK. Click on OK again. OK, so you've loaded up all your presentations and this is when you do it. OK, so this is really good. Let's uh, now go to my slideshow. Let's go to from current slide because I don't want to have to go through all of them. So here I am. This is my last slide. I'm going to, just going to go back one. Let's go forward. So you're here and you're ready to start the next one. What you want to do is click. Now, depending on the system you've got, you might get this message. And you need to do this in advance because you can then fix it so it doesn't happen again. What you want to do is go to open the trust center. This is assuming this has actually come up. Over here are your trusted locations and you're going to add a new location. And for this, I'm just going to change it to my documents, which is where I had them. So click on OK. You'll want to do this all in advance. Click on OK. Click on OK again. Enable external content for this session. Click OK. That's your new presentation. Let's just try it. Let's hit escape, which takes you out of that. And now I am back on the other presentation. Now with those settings in place so that I've got trusted locations, when I click here, you see it just goes straight to the other one. And if the formatting is different or the template is different, it doesn't matter because they're completely separate actual files. So bringing them all in into one, as I showed you, where you can reuse the slides and insert them in, can have problems with formatting. So what happens if you're using a Mac. So here I am on the Mac. Here are my slides down the side. I've got a blank slide over here. If I want to now include a slide in here, what I need to do is go into Insert, choose Slides From, 
other presentation. Then all you need to do is select your presentation. I'm going to choose the select slides to insert here. Click on insert and then I'm going to keep design of original slides. I'm going to choose all of them by holding down the shift key and then choosing insert. I could have chosen insert all. Let's actually just do that then click on close and it's put it in. But what if you wanted to do that other way of doing it where you put in a picture? Well, for that you go to insert, choose photo, picture from file. I've got an image here, again my logo, and I'm just gonna click on insert. And once again, I just right click, choose hyperlink, and then once again, I just go through, I click here for documents, and then I go and select and then I just go and choose my document, such as this one, and click on open. Click on OK, and that will run in exactly the same way as it does on Windows. So that's how you can, so that's how you can move from one presentation to another without all the fumbling around between speakers.